Welcome to the Secret Scriptorium, where today we will embark on an in-depth exploration into the dark and eerie world of incubus demons. These malevolent spirits have haunted the nightmares of countless cultures throughout history, known for their nocturnal visits and sinister intentions. Incubi, as they are known in Latin, have been part of human folklore for millennia. The term incubus itself is derived from the Latin incubare meaning to lie upon. These demons were believed to lie upon their victims, often women, during the night, causing terror and suffering. Our journey begins with the origins of the incubus, tracing its roots back to ancient civilizations. The concept of malevolent night spirits is not unique to any single culture. In ancient Mesopotamian mythology, we find references to entities like the Elu demon, a spirit that would creep into homes and disturb people's sleep. Similarly, the Sumerians spoke of Lilu demons, male spirits who would visit women at night. These early references provide a foundation for understanding how the incubus myth evolved. In Greek mythology, the idea of supernatural beings visiting humans in their sleep is also prevalent. The god Pan, with his lustful nature, was sometimes said to visit sleeping women. However, it was in medieval Europe that the incubus legend truly took shape, influenced heavily by Christian demonology. During the Middle Ages, the Church's teachings about demons and the devil played a significant role in shaping the fearsome image of the incubus. The incubus was believed to be a demon in service of Satan, sent to corrupt and torment humans. Theologians like Thomas Aquinas discussed incubi in their works, describing them as fallen angels who preyed on the vulnerable. They were said to be capable of impregnating women, leading to the birth of demonic offspring known as cambians. The fear of the incubus was pervasive, and it was often used to explain cases of sleep paralysis and nocturnal emissions, phenomena that people of the time did not understand. Women who experienced these episodes might believe they had been visited by an incubus, leading to social and religious repercussions. Incubus were typically described as having a terrifying and grotesque appearance, though they could also appear as seductive and handsome to lure their victims. They were thought to possess great strength, and their visits often left victims feeling weak, drained, and traumatized. The incubus would exploit the fear and vulnerability of its victim, creating a cycle of terror that could be difficult to escape. Medieval accounts describe various methods of protection against the incubus, such as invoking the name of Christ, displaying religious symbols, or reciting specific prayers. These protective measures reflect the deep intertwining of religion and daily life in medieval society. The fear of incubus also played a role in the witch trials that swept through Europe from the 15th to the 18th centuries. Accusations of witchcraft often included claims of consorting with demons, including incubus. Women accused of witchcraft were sometimes said to have had sexual relations with these demons, which was considered proof of their pact with the devil. The infamous Malleus Maleficarum, a guide for witch hunters, detailed how witches would summon and engage with incubi further fueling the hysteria of the time. In contemporary times, the incubus legend has been reinterpreted through the lens of psychology and science. Sleep paralysis, a condition where a person is conscious but unable to move during the transition between sleep and wakefulness, is often cited as a rational explanation for incubus experiences. During sleep paralysis, individuals may hallucinate and feel a presence in the room, leading to a sense of terror that fits the historical descriptions of an incubus attack. Despite these scientific explanations, the legend of the incubus continues to captivate and terrify. It has found its way into modern literature, films, and popular culture, where it is often portrayed as a symbol of hidden fears and unspoken desires. The enduring legend of the incubus demon offers a fascinating glimpse into the ways that human cultures have tried to understand and explain the unknown. From ancient Mesopotamia to medieval Europe and beyond, the incubus serves as a reflection of our deepest fears and the struggle to make sense of the mysteries of the night. As we continue to explore these dark corners of human folklore, we uncover not just the stories themselves, but the cultural and psychological underpinnings that keep these legends alive. Stay with us at the Secret Scriptorium as we delve deeper into the mysterious and the macabre unraveling the threads of history and myth that have shaped our collective imagination.